Hello, this is Dustin with Home Ender, and today we're going to tackle a common problem. The base cabinet under my kitchen sink is rotted out. This one's gross and mildewed. It's got to be changed. I'm going to show you how. Let's get to it. First, we want to get rid of this floor. Next, we want to build a frame to sit down for the floor to sit on. We can't just stick a piece of plywood in there, otherwise it's going to be floppy and look like a homeowner special. Now my floor used to sit at this height right here. So we're going to measure that height because that's where we want our board to sit. Looks like I got five and an eighth inches. Now get the width and length. 45 by 19 and a half. Now I'm going to make up my five inches base cabinet floor height. I took some old pallet wood, we're going to set it in here. All right, I'm going to set those in there towards the front and one towards the back. Now these only measure about three and a half. I need at least five. So I'm going to cap it with a two by four to bring my height up where I need it. Looking good. Now my wall plate in the back where the cabinet floor sits is still in good shape. If yours is bad, you might have to change it to hold up the cabinet floor in the back. Now let's secure it to the floor. Perfect. That should give us enough support for our floor. Next we're going to measure for the floor bottom. Put the tape all the way to the wall. Make sure you go past that back lip and bring it out to the cabinet face. Length, 48 by 23 and a quarter. Now after we get our cabinet floor measured and cut, you can just slip it in if you don't have this centerpiece. If you do have a centerpiece like I do, we're going to have to do it a little different. After I know the measurement and my board is cut, I'm going to cut the board in half and place it in there in two pieces. I want the break to fall right behind here. So we're just going to measure over, cut ours at about 21. Place the boards in the cabinet and fit the seams together. If you cut it upside down, you can have a nice finished cut without splintering. I'm using quarter inch plywood. After you get the floor in there, let's nail it down. Remember to mark where your studs were so you're not poking holes in your new floor. Secure with finishing nails. And done. So that's it. Super easy. We just replaced your base cabinet floor under your kitchen. You can also use it in a bathroom, I suppose, wherever you're having a leak problem. And now the rats can move out and you can quit losing stuff down in those holes. So for Home Ender Inc., this is Dustin. I hope you learned something today. And if you did, don't forget to click subscribe. Thanks for watching.